What's going on everyone? It's DV. Tonight we just got an update. This is a fresh update. It just literally just came out like 15 minutes ago. And as part of this, they did increase the build limit to 70,000. So it was 50,000 and they increased it to 70,000. They said they're eventually going to increase it to 150,000, but I think they're just doing it in small increments right now to test how things go. And the reason why I'm going through all these portals is apparently there's a nomad over here. So we need to go over to the desert island and see what's over here. Apparently there's something over here. Oh, that's the nomad. Okay. So there's a new vent. What is this? So like, that's weird. So you talk to the nomad and the caravan should be here soon. There's lots to be done. Okay. So is this just placeholder? These skeletons are huge. Sandstone rocks that could work, huh? So they added this nomad, right? But what do you do here? So it doesn't look like there's any purpose to the nomad yet. It looks like they just put them there and we don't have anything yet. Is there any Easter eggs? I'm not seeing any Easter eggs yet. Rip me. Yeah, there's no Easter eggs on that island. It looks like, go check this. This should be anchored now, by the way. Let's go see this because this should be anchored. We also have a health bar. So you see the bottom here? We actually have a health bar. So it looks like that is coming. And it looks like this is finally anchored. So I don't know what this is supposed to be, but maybe it's going to be used eventually. Interesting. So I don't know what that's supposed to be. And now apparently if I go to the Buffalo Core Island, let's go run over here. I think if you go to Buffalo Core Island, you should be able to pick up crocus or crocus and daffodils now. So I'm wondering if they're going to make it so that we can actually like make colored daffodils. I'm wondering if they added that. But another thing that they added was a randomizer conveyor block. And we're going to use that in a minute. I'm going to show you that in a little bit, but let's go look for daffodils and stuff. Actually, we're going to, we got to go to Wizard Island for that. Oh, here's, here's a radish. So they didn't fix radishes. Interesting. I wonder why they did that because you used to be able to pick them up. Oh, there's horse. Okay. Horse radish. You can pick up again. looks like you can pick up acorns again. Some of them. What the heck? Some of them you can pick up others. You can't. I'm really confused. Why does some of them get glitched? Look like that one's glitched. Hmm. Pick up these, but I can't, there's no daffodils here. There's a, there's a star fruit over here. You could pick those up again. So I'm looking for a daffodil. Never thought I would be looking for a daffodil in a game. It looks like some of them get bugged. I don't know what's going on. I still don't see a single daffodil in here. Not a single one. Are they that rare? Cause they used to be here a lot more. There's a crocus. Well, I'll see them. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back. So the other thing that they did was they added animations, I guess, to the fish. They improved the fish. Let's see what they look like. The fish just kind of wiggle a little bit. And then they also improved they also improved fishing mechanics. So let's check out fishing mechanics. They must be getting ready for like some, some more fishing stuff. So let's check. Let's see. Hmm. Did they change the, uh, it seems like it definitely feels different. Definitely feels different. Almost like kind of magnetic in a sense. And, uh, so I'm going to go back to my Island and we're going to see if we can actually reset our code. We can't, we still can't reset our code. So we still can't reset our code, which basically means I can't play on public server still. So I got to go to VIP server to play. So I'm back in here and they, I'm just checking a couple things. Okay. So they also added this new conveyor. Let's go check it out real quick. All right. Let's find this randomizer. Where is it? It's right here. Okay. So here's the new randomizer. It requires a buffalo core crystal. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I should, I should sell one of these right now. Oh my gosh. I wonder how much I can get for this. Let's we're, we're going to check in a little bit, but oh my gosh, a randomizer. Yes. Okay. So basically what it looks like is what? Okay. So, okay. 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 I see it. So this is the input and this is the output. So let's go and try it out. Let's try it out real quick. So I'm going to go put some of these. I'm going to go put some of these here. All right. And then I'm going to use this. This is going to go out and I'm just going to put a bunch of these in. Huh? I'm really confused. Where are they going? Um, I don't think the randomizer works yet. I think we got a bug here. Let's try it. Let's try this again. I'm trying to do this. Okay. Hold on. How did I just lose a bunch of chests? Let's try this. Okay. So that works. But if you do an industrial chest, and you put stuff to go outwards. We'll just put some, uh, we'll just put fireflies. Oh, uh, I don't know. That's really weird. For a while there, it was bugged. Okay, it's working now. Okay. Dude, that's so cool. It's like every other. Oh, no, it's just random. So it's completely random. So it put in five there and it put in five there. So it kind of ends up being evened out. So this could get pretty crazy. This is actually really, really cool for our builds. So expect some new farms for me on this one. But this, this is crazy cool. So I will show you all in a separate video how to use this for some really, really cool builds. But um, for now, I'm going to go and sell this and see how much I can get. So another thing that happened, they actually removed the 50 billion coin limit. So no more limits to coins. So if you're wondering what, what happened to my coins, I bought a ton of trophies. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm, I think I'm going to have to open my store. I think uh, Buffalo Core Crystals just went up. I'm going to have to farm a bunch of Buffalo Core, but I can't do it on this main account. Whatever I do, I cannot do it on this main account. So they also changed some animations, I guess, for the flowers. So if you pick up the flowers, it has a different animation. I don't see, I don't, I didn't see that. Hold on. 
Okay, they said pick up a flower plays an animation. I don't think that's in yet. I don't think that's in yet. Unless it's like brand new flowers. Let me see. Maybe it's like, maybe it's flowers that got bred. And the other thing that, so they, they did a bunch of other stuff with the flowers. So apparently it looks like the timers now don't get reset. So see how they're still wet? They were like this from the last time I was in the game and now they won't get affected by the timer. So that I guess the timer doesn't reset when you rejoin, which was a big problem for me. I actually had a lot of issues with that. And so watering flowers no longer resets them, which is huge. Basically what that means is that now you don't have to like wait 10 minutes in between. You can just keep looping this over and over and over and over. So my auto farm can actually get a full revamp and you won't have to wait 10 minutes anymore. Now you can actually use conveyor belts. So that is huge because before I wouldn't be able to use conveyor belts because I needed a 10 minute loop for it to actually work. Otherwise you would reset the timer every single time. So if you created a farm that had a conveyor loop and you tried to loop it, it had to take 10 minutes to do a full loop. So now they actually made it so that doesn't matter. So now we can actually fully loop this with a conveyor belt, but that's just for movement because we're still gonna need a macro stuff. So that's a rip. And then I guess apparently you can now just um, keep holding to keep eating. So like if I wanted to eat multiple things, I can just hold this down and it should keep going through it. Oh, that's cool. Interesting. So they must be getting ready for PVP. That, that'd that be my guess, or maybe some big boss battles. Something's up. This looks like a combat update coming. This looks like combat update coming because we have a health bar here. Look at this, this health bar is here. So you can see that at the bottom. They also improved the watering effect, I guess. I don't know what that means. Apparently, I don't know if like, it looks, it definitely looks different. Okay, so they just made, made it clear that you actually watered them. So if we auto click this, it should be a lot more noticeable. That's cool. Okay. Oh, here we go. See, I don't see, I don't see an animation for picking these up, but that's okay. Yeah, I don't see any, I don't see a pickup animation. I think they increased the amount of flowers actually grow now. This is a massive increase. This is a massive increase. They changed how flowers grow. They wouldn't grow like this before. Typically, you wouldn't get this many flowers. So I think behind the scenes, they actually increased the uh, the amount of flowers you get too as part of this update because we wouldn't get this many before. We got so many. So that's gonna definitely affect the value of things. So I will be updating my price guide pretty soon here. Now we got all those. All right, bunch of mundanes. So this is gonna be cool. So what I'm gonna do real quick, um, I will be doing a full auto farm for this for steel and some other things pretty soon here because I think we can do some really, really cool stuff with this T-Splitter or this randomizer. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna actually show you how to do a load balanced still farm right now. The only problem is I do need one more Buffalo Core Crystal and I'm gonna have to get that real quick. So I can actually make more of these. I got a bunch of Buffalo Core Crystal off of one of my alts and so it had 30 on it already. So I'm gonna go and make a bunch of these. So I've got... There we go. So I just made a ton of these randomizers. So I actually have, how many of these do I have? I have 30 now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can actually chain these together though. So a very, very simple still farm build here is you're going to very, very simply, you're gonna put a smelter, right? So we're gonna put four still farms here. So we gotta feed this with some conveyors. So there's iron totem. We're gonna put these here and we're gonna put a coal on the side. There we go. Let's get rid of this one. All right, so we got six on there and that should actually be powered now. So I'm gonna go and power that. And then we're gonna connect this to three of these. So we're actually gonna do four. So I'm going to get my randomizer here. Then we're gonna turn left here like that. And then we're gonna put a straight conveyor. We just need to put another straight belt. Put a straight belt right here, one right here. And then this one, actually we're gonna cut that because we want to do this. There we go. So this is gonna get 50%. This one's gonna get 50%. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to split it one more time like that. Okay, so that's how that's gonna work. So basically you have one here and I kind of wish you could choose which side you want it to come into. It's kind of a bummer that it always goes to the right side. I kind of wish they did it like left, but they must have a reason for it. So we're gonna do it like this. And then basically what's gonna happen here is we need one space like that. And then we're gonna drop our coal right here. Now I'm curious, can, can coal actually work on these? You know, what? I just had an idea. I just had an idea. So I'm gonna fix this real quick. Okay, so. Here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna do this and we kind of have to have a space on that one, but that's that's fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power these with two of these. That's all we need, two coals. And then I'm gonna go take this. Sorry, bees, I gotta take your home. We'll fix it later. Okay, there's that one and there's this one. So this is gonna have to be a left and then a right. It's kind of weird, but it works the same. It, 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 it kind of works out the same and that's it. Now let's go put some chests at the end of these. And uh, I'm just gonna put some chests at the end of these for now. You know, eventually we'll probably put something better. I mean, I could chain them together and stuff if I wanted to, but for now I'll just do this. So if you want to like the ultimate steel output, check this out. It's already working. 
fact, we can actually do more. So this this single smelter is overfeeding right now. Look at this. So this is a pretty simple auto farm that you could do. You could just check these every now and then. I will actually do, like I said, an auto farm design for this. It'll look a lot better than this. So this is currently just a way for you to start getting your ideas together. I will be coming up with my own design, like I said, probably this weekend because I think we need it. And uh, good luck with the updates. I would love to see the first person actually reach 100 billion. That'd be really, really cool. So thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all tomorrow. Peace.